another interesting segue between mindfulness now and validation, to get back to that, is that I think that it's sort of the wellspring of validation. Because when you're mindful, you actually notice your mind. You're noticing the breath, but actually because your focus is on the breath or on something else, you actually begin to notice with a perspective. You notice the goings on in your mind. And then you bring another person in the room and you're mindful and you're listening to them and you notice the goings on in their mind. And when you notice the goings on in their mind, you make interventions that reveal that. And the interventions are going to include validation because the person's going to feel like, oh, he's actually there. He's there today. He's home. He's listening to me. He heard what I said. He even linked it with something I talked about last time. Hmm, he seems to be entirely there for me today. And that changes everything. So even before you almost even say anything, before you do level one through six or any other level of validation, you're already in a validating stance because you're actually there. You're listening and it seems to give rise to compassion almost naturally. Not always, it could give rise to, you know, fury because of something that's happening, but it's fury with awareness. You know, I'm really furious. Then you notice that. Yeah, no wonder I'm furious. Then you validate yourself. I'm furious because this person has said she's going to do such and such 40 times and she's still never done it, and I keep asking her again. Huh, this isn't working very well. So even if you're asking for change, even if you're recognizing frustration, it's in a larger, more spacious context that I can't get across in any other way than to try to explain it this way. And I'm sure it hits some of you probably already know this, some of you, maybe it makes sense to you and some of you might not, I just might not be explaining it that well, but it's sort of this basic process. If you're with your family at dinner, they know without saying it whether you're actually there. If you're taking a ride with your family on a vacation or just a trip up the beach or something, your family knows whether you're there or whether you're thinking about other stuff. They just know it, and it changes everything. And if you're there, they're more likely to be there. Or they're more likely, or it's gonna become more obvious they're not. So I just wanna encourage you to see there's, it's an absolute indelible link between just being mindful of yourself and then being mindful of another human in your presence. That's already validating in a deep way. So, and then what comes out of your mouth is more likely to reflect that. And, it's, and you don't have to think, gee, should I do level four? No, it just comes out. It just comes out because, you know, these levels are just actually just ways of chopping up natural, what everybody naturally does when they validate. It isn't like there's anything special. It makes them easier to code for research purposes and to study and to teach them and learn them, but actually, you do it in one fell swoop, you're either you're validating or you're not validating very well. So there's this, this very close connection.